Good morning. We are hunting Camp Pendleton again. It is about 6.15, sunrise at 6.45. As you can see, it's pretty lit right now. Um, it's been a full moon, so we're in the same area. Got a bunch of people out today. I think there's like six of us hunting today. But um, bumped into another guy in the same area who just rolled up and he's been stalking this three by three buck. So I'm debating if I want to move or not. Cause I mean, you guys know I've been hunting this area just as much. And he said he has as well. I actually saw him. If you remember that opening weekend, he was one of the guys, he was that guy in that video making the stalk on a buck. So, you know, just advice for most people. Like it is what it is. You can't be upset about shit like that. Like it's a, it's an open area. Like a lot of people hunt here, so. We're just gonna help each other out if he sees something if we see something we'll probably just you know be the spotters that we need because the more eyes the better and the more people you have helping you especially here it works out all right let's uh let's get the glass in and hopefully we see something quick hey that's jaron we got we got two bucks already it's only 6 40. we saw two bucks so we're gonna try to make a play on them all right so it's three deer we have two bucks chasing this doe right now they already skylined us so Jaren's running down. He doesn't know where to go, though. He doesn't know where to go, so they're chasing this this doe right now. And a doe just busted to our right. He's gone exactly where they always go. But the two went to the right, and now they just busted a doe to the right. So we're making a play on the, that buck and that doe. We got Jaron. This is Cameron. We got Jaron over there. He's going to be our uh, spotter. And uh, Cameron's going to be helping me out to make sure they don't bust. So let's hope we get him. Okay, so we're at this little fork where we use this light green bush as a reference point, but we don't see him. Jaron's on top of the ridge glass, and he can't see him either. So we're going to go on top of this hill right here and see if we get glass down. But we got to start being super.
freaking spike in there. Oh, this 4K in this dough. My phone's at 6%. It was at 100 two hours ago. I don't know what the hell happened. But, um, hopefully it doesn't die. Hopefully you guys get to see something. But I'll definitely get a picture or a video of me with a dead deer if it happens. So, sorry, Charlie. All right, guys. So, update. Phone's charging. I'm at 30%. Luckily, I had this little portable charger. <sighs> I messed up, y'all. I messed I messed up. Had these deer at 40 yards, the buck and the doe. Rolled up on this bush way too fast. Aeronaut knocked in. Bust them, and they ran away. Luckily, uh, uh, we got Cody and Kristen with us now, and Kristen was up here on this ridge, and she saw where the buck went embedded. So now we're making a play on them. So I'm going to show you the area and what the play is going to be and where the buck is supposedly at, and Kristen is 90% sure he's still here. All right, let's check it out. So here's the area. We're believing the buck's down here in one of these bushes. So... Cody and Kristen are right here right now. They're gonna drive up and around. They're gonna park here and they're gonna try to glass in to see if they can see the buck. Me, Jaren, and Cameron, supposedly, we're gonna come down here, we're gonna sit by this palm tree looking thing. And we're gonna see, hold on, hold on. All right, a little update again. It's about 11.15. We just put a forky to bed and about three seconds later, it got up and ran away. It wasn't the wind, it didn't smell us, it might have hurt us because there's five of us sitting on this ridge side. We were talking pretty loud, so so he's gone, but my god, we've seen a lot of deer again. And then there was a full moon last night, so I don't know, that's a good thing for mule deer, but it's been a very productive morning. Super productive. And I missed a deer. <laughs> kind of, I didn't draw back, but 40 yards, still upset about it. Um, I might head home soon, get some lunch, get some water, get some AC. Then I'll come back out for the late afternoon, evening hunt. All right, see you guys. All righty, we are back at it. Just went home, took a nap, got some food. And if I'm being completely honest, sometimes it is hard to go back out after being inside. You know, like it's 97 degrees outside and the house is 70, so honesty moment you know this is this is my hardest part of hunting <laughs> at least when I'm hunting Camp Pendleton if I'm if I'm out in the sticks like it's fine but maybe because of the fact that I you know I'm in AC and now I have to go back and put myself through this heat but hey that's what we got to do if we want to get a deer these days I was so close this morning and it was just mental errors all over the place I didn't have an arrow knocked I didn't creep around the bush, I rushed around the bush. It was just so many mental errors on my part. And I mean, if I if every, if I did everything right, like who really knows if I would've got the deer, but knowing that I didn't do those things right, I know I definitely didn't get the deer. All right, well, we're on our way back. I'm gonna go to the same area. I'm gonna start the glassing process. It's about to be three o'clock. They may be moving, I don't know, but we'll see. And if I see, you'll see. See you there. All right, so our buddy Jaron thinks he saw a deer move underneath the bush over here. And we were glassing, but some haze rolled in. And we don't know what the hell the haze is. Like, it's actually haze or some fire or a fire somewhere. But we couldn't see it too clearly, so we came on this opposite side ridge to get closer, just to confirm if it is anything. And then he's dropping down just in case it is. We got the wind in our favor. We're on the super quiet path, so. So far, so good. Hopefully we see something. All right, so we glassed that bush up where we saw that deer. It's a branch. <laughs> it's a white branch. So we're, in, so we're in a really good area to glass the side of this ridge right here, but um, the only problem is that it'll be impossible to make a stock. So Jaron's on the other side, and I'm here with Cameron. And Jaron's, yeah, he's, Jaron's down there in the valley, which we'll see in a second, but we're in a good glassing spot, but not a good stalking spot. So I don't know if we're going to move. So Jaron's right there by that palm tree looking thing. You see him standing right underneath that bush right there. Yeah, so I'm glassing this ridge side right now. And I've, there's a heavy trail in here, so I'm looking all around it to see if we can see anything. Nothing yet though. All right, we got a fork that just popped out and Jaron's in perfect position to make a stock right now. You can see his back, it's kind of shiny. It's right. I'll do that little light thing for you guys, but he's moving. You might go put it down right there. He 
He's gone exactly where we thought he was earlier. Okay. All right, so for like somehow, some way, Jaron busted that Forky. He was within 70. And I've been watching him this entire time, so it's 5.30. I don't know if he's going to lay down again because it was a full moon. But he's going to a position we can stalk. It's just we would have to go all the way around this ridge again. Like get back in the car, drive around, and try to figure out what bush it is from a different angle. And for you guys that do this stuff, like, you know, it's not the easiest thing. Finding the bush from a completely different viewpoint. But, um... Hey, stuff's moving, so that's good. All right, we got 15 minutes, maybe, to see something, and then 30 minutes after that to make a move. All right, guys, I just booked it, booked it after this fork, man. He just wouldn't stop. I got to 109, and I was just trying to get to like 70, but he just kept going, like arrow, knocked and everything. <sighs> but I'm telling like, I probably covered a good, like, Right, close to a mile, like in like 10 minutes through some thick shit. All right, well, I'll see you guys up at the car. <sighs> shit. All right, it's the next morning and we are in the pink chair. This is the outro. Like I said in the other video, I like to, or one of the other videos, I like to take a day to think about what happened on the hunt and just um, get my thoughts together, if you will. So Sunday hunting yesterday, or when, yeah, yesterday, it was, really good we made between us we made three stalks and yet again we keep seeing a lot of deer and i can't believe the bucks are still in the rut it's kind of crazy actually i i haven't seen any bucks fighting but i know other people have seen bucks fighting but man that last ditch effort the buck was at 105 yards that's the closest i got and i was trying to close to 80 at a minimum so i had to close 30 yards i was being as loud as possible it didn't matter and the buck just slowly walked away but it never stopped it just kept walking away because if I could get within 80, I would have been taking that shot. But someone's getting low, and right when I thought I was close, I'm gonna pull out the rangefinder, and I couldn't even pick it up anymore because it was so dark. So that would not have been an ethical shot, which I try to make ethical shots all the time. You know, shit happens when, stuff like that. But hey, overall, it was a good weekend. We saw a lot of movement again. Um, the whole full moon thing, I really don't know what's going on. My buddy's actually out right now, and he hasn't seen anything. And we were out there at 6 a.m. and I was holding glass for like an hour and we didn't see any movement advice. Yesterday we saw a ton of movement before 8, before 8 a.m. But um, yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really hope you guys are being successful. And if you guys, if you guys kill a deer out here or any animal, shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll share it on my page and I'll share it in these videos too. I'm all about other hunter success. And if you guys get a deer, don't forget, if you get a deer with a bow in California this year, not last year, I will send you a free sticker as well. All right, we got a giveaway coming up. I'm not gonna tell you, I'll release in another video, but we're gonna have another free giveaway. So thank you all so much for watching the support. I truly do appreciate it. And until next time, you guys know the drill. Drop a like, drop a comment, click subscribe, and let's show them what San Diego is all about. Peace.